Hey everybody, welcome to CPP Tech. I'm Ryan. How you guys doing today? Switches, let's talk about them. Alright guys, so today we're going to talk about switches. We have a 10100 and a 10100 1000, otherwise known as gigabit. Uh, gigabit is actually in reference to the data that's transferring through your network, and gigabyte is actually the file size of your picture, your video, uh, anything that's in your storage. So what's the difference between these two? I'm going to tell you, but first, do me a favor, blow up that subscribe button. So, Let's talk about the 10100 first. If you have a network, so all, all your routers most, mostly now in your, in your modems are mostly going to be, be uh, the gigabit uh, ports on the back of them. Um, if you don't, I suggest you upgrade your router and we'll talk about that in a, a future, future video. But these are unmanaged switches. Managed switches means you can go actually in there and, and manage them. It's pretty much well self-explanatory without getting into the into the nitty-gritty of the of the uh, extent of what that means. But uh, basically, if you hook this up to your your computer or your network or your game system or what have you, it is actually going to be limited to about 100 megabytes a second. Uh, most, most of the time I'll see between 90 and 98. Uh, 96 is an average number on it. Um, but that's, that's going to hinder your speeds. Now, 90 in retrospects is still enough bandwidth for you to run. So if you have one of these, it's not killing you. That's a big, a big misnomer. But if you're one of those people that keeps hitting that speed test and oh, I'm not getting the speeds that I'm getting, more than likely you are. However, that's not what this video is all about. So we got the 10 100 1000, the gigabit switch. Uh, I will tell you right now, just a disclaimer. I only have 200 megs in the house, so I don't have uh, a gig service however it will show you the the full speed that i do have um but the 10 100 will actually uh 10 100 1000 uh is actually the gigabit uh, switch and it'll actually uh go back and forth between the 100 and the and the gig and that's going to be due to what your NIC card is, which NIC means Network Interface Card. Uh, and people say NIC card, and I always find it funny to say NIC card, and then they say card twice because the C at the end of NIC is card. But, or it's reference to a LAN card, or what have you. Now, I will show you in this video as well how to get your device manager and show you exactly how to see what your NIC card is, whether you have a 10100 or you have a 10 100 1000. Most of them in device manager will tell you um, if it's a 10 100 1000. Some of them don't, depending on what NIC card you have. Um, I know a lot of the 10 100 NIC cards don't even tell you that you have a 10 100. So we'll get into mine. I actually have two NIC cards in there. I got a gigabit uh, NIC card and I got a two and a half gigabit NIC card. So we'll go in there and I'll show you how to get into that. And, and what have you. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to actually go to the computer right now and we're going to hook up this one and we're going to run a speed test and we're going to hook this one up and run a speed test and you'll be able to see the difference between the two and the speeds and what have you. It will not affect your upload at all. So let's go ahead and scooby-doo over there and we'll
you can see there's a difference between the gigabit and the 10100 switch. So if you have one of these 10100 switches in there, I would suggest you actually, in your in your network, I would suggest that you actually replace it ASAP just just because it it's slow and, you know, what have you. All right, guys, so there's two different ways to get into Device Manager. Uh, the first one is if you go down here to the search and you start typing device, it actually will pop up here. So right here, you just click that and device manager will pop up. Okay. The other way is if you actually open up this folder right here and go to this PC, if you right click it, maybe <laughs> you hit properties and this page pops up and over here on the right hand side, device manager and the same thing comes out so this here is your device manager so what it's going to do is actually it's actually going to show you uh what devices are plugged into your computers and, and such so what you're actually going to do is scroll down until you find network adapters which is right here uh every pc is different depending on what kind of hardware you have in here um so just find the device manager or the the network adapters and this will actually show you what network adapters you have in there. Uh, what's important is, so like if you look at my, I got Bluetooth device. So there's actually the Bluetooth device uh, built in. And then um, I got a gigabit network and a 2.5 gig gigabit uh, NIC card in there. So, uh, and then you get the Wi-Fi 6, which is the, a the AX, which is going to be replacing the AC here soon, uh, but we'll get into that in a different video. So basically what you're going to look for is on on here, you see mine says gigabit. Uh, some do say 10, 100, 1000. Um, a lot of your uh, 10, 100s won't even say anything. I'll just tell you what kind of NIC card it is. What I normally do on that part of it is I'll actually see what kind that is and then I'll Google it and then it should give you the specs of what it is. But for the most part, if you got a gigabit uh, LAN card in there or NIC card, uh, it'll say gigabit. So um, that that's that's the way that's the way to go about seeing what kind of, of, of NIC card you have sitting in your in your computer all right guys i know a lot of you guys are going to your basements or your offices or wherever your your network stuff is located in your house uh just to see if you have a 10 100 or 10 100 1000 switch um most of the time they will tell you on the on the uh component itself this is a cheap one it it does tell you on the bottom i'm not going to zoom in uh however on the box it doesn't um how uh but this is a cheap off the brand i actually picked this up at a at a consignment shop or a not really a consignment shop but uh uh they basically buy crates of amazon boxes and then they sell them and they have boxes it's pretty cool anyway uh the reason i'm holding this this patch cable is ethernet cable do me a favor, throw in the comments below if you want to see a video on how to actually make one of these. Um, and I can go over, I'll go over what tools you need, uh, what the cost is, and what uh, wire configuration you actually need to do just to do your basic Ethernet uh, uh, cable. So with that being said, if you like this video, please do me a favor. I know I told you to smash or... Uh, blow up that subscribe button, but throw a like and a subscribe. And if you want to see next week's video, I have a uh, USB digital tester. And basically what this does is um, for you at your USB 3.0 and your USB-C, you plug this in and then you plug your component into the other end. It will actually tell you how many voltage, wattage, amperage, and all that stuff that particular device is actually drawing. So. That's my video for next week. So if you want to see that one, you know what to do. I thank you guys for watching. Please come back. Have a good day. Bye.